All right, let's look at how to put front and side view images in to help us with our modeling. So I want to always make sure that I have set my project to the appropriate place. So there's my project. I'm setting that project. And I'm going to pull those images into the source images folder. So I've got these guys and they're going to drop into here. And so if I ever move them, Maya will lose them. So you want to put them where you intend to keep them because Maya doesn't make a copy and put it in Maya. It references it. So if you change the address, it can't find it. All right. So we don't want to do this in perspective because it'll stick to the camera. So if I go to view image plane import image and I move around, it's just stuck to my camera and that's not very helpful. So I'm going to go into the view that it represents. So I'm going to view image plane import image, the front into the front view view image plane import image the side into the side view then go back in perspective and see what's going on i've got these two images crossed at the center they are super tiny so i'm going to scale them you can select them both or shift select in your outliner if your outliner is not open you can open it right here you want to scale them the same amount it doesn't really matter what it is it's whatever you need it to be but it needs to be the same because perspective view will alter how they look if they're farther away. So if one's farther away in perspective view than the other one, it'll look smaller and that'll throw off your model. So we're going to scale out. There we go. It looks good. And I'm going to move them together up so that the feet are sitting on the ground plane here on my grid. That's sort of it. You know, I mean, I this drawing has its limitations, so, but it'll be okay. If you draw your own stuff, it's definitely going to be more accurate because you can see a little bit better. So like you can see the roundness isn't the same here. Uh, you can see the nose isn't quite matching up, the eye, you know, but it, it's close enough to where you get the idea. Some people will model like this. They like to build it with the crust in the middle. Um, I like to push them back. So I'm going to push this guy back, right? So we don't want to just randomly push it back. We want to type in a value again so that they're the same amount backwards or away. And so I want this guy, right? So I'm going to type that in there. So there we go. And then I'm ready to go. So yeah, and they'll they'll follow with me because they're attached to the front and the side view cameras. So they'll stay put. Uh, if you want to, you can shift select them and create where are my layers? There they are. Create a layer from selected. And call it reference or ref save. And then you can turn their visibility on and off. And then you would create another layer and you could put your model in the other layer uh, if you choose to. But that makes it, that might make it a little bit easier as you're working. All right, there it is. Two images to start modeling with.